<laughs> it's okay. Oh, on your roots, brush root. Okay, hi everybody. Welcome to our Essential Skin Care Summer Edition. This is a continuing education class for all of you loyal customers to come and learn more in depth about different topics. And we've been doing these classes since the beginning of the year. So each month we've been talking about a different topic and I have all of those available for replays on the YouTube channel. So if you don't have access to that, please let me know and I'll make sure to send you the link and we're going to keep doing um, specialty classes once a month for all you guys to keep coming back. So this is our skincare summer edition. I love essential oil for skincare. It's like, I think it's the internal use and skincare is my favorite about essential oils. So I'm Megan Newmans and I have Alina. Hey everyone. Um, we just wanted to open up and share a little bit about our skin stories with essential oils. So for me, I didn't really start taking care of my skin, um, washing my face regularly and paying attention to it until essential oils came into my life. So I'm thankful for that to be using natural for my skin. And I really have, um, gosh, it's been a journey with my skin. I, I think it was maybe three years ago, I developed eczema out of nowhere. Um, it just kind of popped up and it would show up in different spots all over my body. And it took me a long time to get to the bottom of it naturally, but I, I did. I had to do a lot of gut cleansing and I used the doTERRA 30 day supplement cleanse of probably three to four times over the course of three years to really cleanse on the inside. And I had to completely change up my diet and I had to treat my gut health. So I developed leaky gut. And so a lot of times when skin issues come up, it's all related to our gut health. So to be able to have clear skin from the inside out, that's how I had to handle it. So I had to change my food. I had to cut down on the stressors in my life. I was very overworked at the time, a very high energy job. I used to be a full-time personal trainer and fitness instructor and yoga instructor and just go, go, go. And so stress is a big one for, for any flare-ups or skin issues. So I had to um, rework my schedule and it took a while to, fi to find out what works well for me. On top of that, I, I realized I have sensitive skin. And so I use the essential oils on my face and I dilute them. So anytime I use oils in my skincare, I'm diluting with a carrier oil. I like the, um, hold on one sec. Leilani, can you check to see if we have other people um, getting in from the registered list? If you're still on, that would be great. Let's send her a message. <clears throat> So I, okay, so I have sensitive skin, so I always dilute with the carrier oils. If I, because our, our, our oils are very pure. So if I happen to touch my face accidentally, I could react or um, get some redness or some itchiness, but when I purposely dilute the oils, I use that for my skincare day and night. And so we'll talk all about the things that we, we use throughout the, the class, but that's just my story in a nutshell. So I'll let Alina tell her skin story. Hi everyone. So I pretty much had pretty good skin most of my life. Um, I ended up taking, uh, having an IUD put in and I had a really bad severe reaction to it. So as the bad reaction to the IUD, I created what's called cystic acne. So I developed three large sores across my face. So this happened about within a year's time. I stopped using makeup. I didn't put any, any lotions, no creams, just like maybe a little bit of Castile soap to clean my face. 
when I was able to remove the IUD to detox my body with nutrition and of course other supplements that um, I was so my, my skin started to slowly heal and once it started to heal I introduced essential oils was the first thing that I introduced back into my skin just to create a healing process. I was really afraid of, you know, different cleaners or even just buying certain soap at the store because I was, my skin just suffered for so long. So after my skin healed up, um, I started very gently with frankincense. So um, I used frankincense in a carrier oil like coconut oil, just very gently over my face. And pretty much now there's three oils that I really do use a lot unless there's specific issues that are going. So I use um, frankincense and I use the rose oil on my face and I use yarrow palm as well. And I do a lot of the gua sha. So that's something that I just started and introduced. So I use the, the essential oil to create that barrier on my skin. And then I'll use the gua sha to help with the lymphatic system. So those are literally the, just the three things that I've been using to heal my skin and very slowly the skin has started to heal. The color the coloration has gotten more even, but always just starting low and slow, introducing, um, you know, gently back into my body. But that's literally all I use now are those three oils, unless I have like maybe an acne issue or a bug bite going on, but on my face, I just love it. And I do dilute as well with the carrier oil um, to create less sensitivity. All right, but we're really excited for I you. I love that, you. less is more. <laughs> exactly, this, yeah, less is more at first. So our goal of the class today is to empower you because we have these essential oils, they're tools that we can use to better ourselves, whether it's on a physical level or an emotional level. So we want to take inventory of your health concerns and your goals and help you to understand your skin. We'll go over some common skin issues, um, beauty from the inside out, different tips that you can use supplement wise, help you create a wish list, and our top skincare recommendations. So we have a nice little fun activity stuff to go through. Okay, so first we want to kind of take inventory of where you are in your health journey. And this is something that may be familiar if you came to one of the 101 classes or you, you got to sit down and do your wellness consultation. So hopefully you've done a wellness consultation with the advocate who's enrolled you. And if you haven't, reach back out and just let them know, hey, I want to set up my wellness consultation because sometimes the memo gets missed along the way and life gets busy and people miss out on that. But that wellness consultation should be that one-on-one -on -one meeting with your wellness advocate to go over what your main health goals and health concerns are and then create some protocols and a plan in place to get there. So what you see here is the health pyramid. So doTERRA is not just essential oils, as you know, if you're part of the monthly wellness box and you get doTERRA products for your home or you take the supplements, it's really a um, all-encompassing holistic lifestyle. So we're integrating all of these pillars of a healthy lifestyle. So on the, the box on the left, if you have a pen and paper, or you have your phone and you want to write some notes, rate yourself where you are in all of these pillars. So from a scale of one to 10, one being I need a lot of work, 10 being I feel great, just kind of take inventory of where you are today because our health is just, it's such a day by day thing and it's, it's made up of all of our lifestyle choices that we make throughout our whole day. So you could be you know, waking up on a given day and experiencing different things. So with the eating right, a scale of one to 10, and on the right hand side, you're going to see the common ailments that can correlate with when one of these building blocks is out of balance. So take some notes if you're experiencing any of these uh, side effects or ailments for eating right. Do you have any digestive um, issues, gut health, attention, digestive support? Think about me with my skin. When the skin flared up, I immediately went to the gut health because I know that whatever shows up on your skin, it's the way of the body speaking to us. So that's something I couldn't ignore that I had to look into to further. So exercise, um, what, scale of one to 10, and are you experiencing any muscle soreness? Do you need help with energy or motivation to work out? Then we have resting and managing our stress. So a lot of dis-ease in the body can come from too much stress in our life. So 
Do you need help with sleep support, emotional support, fatigue, stress, anxiety, depression? Rate yourself where you are, one to 10. And then reducing your toxic load. So this was kind of the way I came to essential oils. I realized I, have, I had all of the toxic, um, harmful toxic products from like CVS and Target and all that stuff. And I had to get it out, I started making my own. I started using doTERRA products, but think about all of your skincare products, your deodorant, your toothpaste, your cleaning products. If you have Glade plugins, those have to go. Replace that with a diffuser. I learned that Glade plugins are made of petroleum, which is gasoline that's in your home. So anything that you are using to clean your home or your body, you're absorbing that into your system. So we wanna go with natural products, natural cleaning products. Um, rate yourself on a scale of one to 10, how much do you need to reduce your toxic load? We have internal cleansing, like I told you, I did the 30 day um, restore cleanse and restore kit to really work on cleaning myself from the inside out. And then informed self-care. So this is when you start to treat yourself as, as you know, an ailment comes up, maybe you look in the essential oil book or in the app, or you look in our Facebook group. Hopefully you're in the Facebook group. It's the Uprising Wellness Community. If you're not in that group, make sure to reach out to your advocates. We put you in there. That's an awesome resource. But, um, you know, things like a respiratory support, allergies, pain management, headaches, inflammation, um, boosting your immune system, anything with your hair, skin, and nails. This is all things that we can manage with our lifestyle choices to rate yourself on a scale of one to 10. And then the last um, piece of the pyramid is the proactive medical care. So this is, you know, the first one, two, three, four, five blocks you see are, is about 80% of our needs. They can be met using the oils and using natural options and lifestyle adjustments. And then the other 20%, we want to, you know, this is when an emergency comes up where we need to go to the ER, we need to see a doctor, we have a procedure. So it's about the 80-20 rule. So we're marrying um, both types of medicine and we're really focusing uh, with the education we do with the oils and the lifestyle as a preventative approach. So if you um, have any of these health concerns or ailments going on and you you don't have any protocols for it yet, feel free to type in the chat and we can help give you some advice there. All right. Passing the mic. All right, so we want to understand your skin. So what are some things you love about your skin that you're in? You know, so you can ask yourself and just take a moment to reflect. And then what are some things you want to improve? It's always good to start about what we love and then what we can always work on. And if you want to type it in the chat, shower yourself with some self-love, feel free. I feel like too often we don't celebrate ourselves and we pick, pick ourselves apart. So I'm gonna type in the chat. So hopefully it'll inspire everyone else too, too. Are you on this one, Alina, or is this me? This is you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's some, the common skin issues that we experience could be redness. Redness of the skin comes from a variety of different things, but it's mostly rooted in inflammation. So our body is just inflamed from living this human experience. So we have to tackle it with anti-inflammatory foods, drinking enough water, and the oils and the products that are recommended to help with redness would be yarrow palm, 
So yarrow palm is over here on the, you see the little squeeze bottle or um, this is pomegranate seed oil and yarrow. Yarrow is a flower and the pomegranate seed oil is essentially a carrier oil. So this is super hydrating to the skin. It's, it's super brightening. It's like one of my favorites. I like to use it for lip gloss as well. Um, the Correct X, this is like the Neosporin, like a holistic version of Neosporin, has frankincense, um, cedar wood, lavender, melaleuca. So that's also good for any like cuts or scrapes. Anything skin related, you can put uh, the Correct X. It comes as an ointment, so it's like it's diluted as well. And then frankincense is great for redness in addition to anything wrong with the skin, you'll wanna just grab frankincense. That's, frankincense is one of the top oils for anti-aging, um, clearing out um, age or sunspots, wrinkle prevention, and cellular rejuvenation. Uh, I, I bet Alina does this too, but every morning I take a couple drops of frankincense under the tongue because it works on cellular rejuvenation and inflammation systemically. So that's a, a practice that you can get into. And if you have copaiba, you can also do it with copaiba. And a lot of times frankincense and copaiba are very interchangeable. And then there's helichrysum. Helichrysum is the little yellow one in the middle. This is like a top skin oil as well. And if you are using the immortal, helichrysum is one of the oils in there. And for scars, Scars usually fade over time, but most desire to minimize the color as well. So we can speed up the healing process using the essential oils. And you can make a roller bottle. I find this is gonna be the easiest way because you can mix the geranium, yarrow palm, frankincense touch, and neroli. Actually, the frankincense touch and neroli come in rollers. So you can just roll that over the face. But if you have frankincense oil, you can put that into a roller. Um, the neroli only comes in ro a roller form. And when you see these rollers, they're diluted with fractionated coconut oil. Alina has a simple, simple skincare routine as do I, and I use the frankincense touch, rose touch in my hand. And then I do the yarrow palm and I do um, whatever carrier oil that I, I have. So I usually like jojoba oil for my face, but then I just rub my hands all together and like that. But the, the, when you make your own rollers, you can, it's super easy just to have all of them mixed in one place. And like Megan said, we have like a simple skin care routine, but when there's other things that pop up or shift in our body, then we can get go to these other oils for more specific needs. So breakouts, for instance. Breakouts are often associated with food sensitivities, hormone, or bacteria. My breakout was hormonal as per the result from the IED causing hormonal imbalances. So the recommended products that they have um, would be tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is, um, it's an antifungal, antimicrobial, antibacterial. So it's really great to kill the bacteria that's on the skin. And I love to dilute this one with a carrier oil if I have like a pimple that's breaking out. If it's just like a nice small pimple. But sometimes you get ones that aren't that um, nice and don't like to go away and they're a little bit more stubborn. So I, when you get those stubborn ones, you can grab the HD clear. HD Clear is a really great combination, um, and if you do find that it's too strong, you can also um, dilute a little bit further for yourself, but it has black cumin seed oil, wood leaf, tea tree is already in it. Litsia berry, which is very similar to tea tree oil, has the same sort of um, chemical properties. Eucalyptus leaf, geranium plant, um, essential oils in it. So it is very strong, so if you do have more one breakout that's a little more stubborn, it's a great one to use. Um, if you're a little bit more soft on your skin, um, rose, the rose touch is just amazing. I just recommend everyone to have that, even if you're just trying to boost your emotional level, because rose has a, such a really high frequency. And when you use florals on your skin, they're also really great to help calm the skin. The best ones that I find for skin would be um, florals and then trees. 
Um, so the next moving into brown spots. So brown spots can be caused by sun exposure, aging, or other hormonal pigmentation. Um, I did develop brown spots when I had my son because again, hormones shift. So I do use frankincense is really great um, to help with any brown spots. That's what I do recommend, but I use that on a daily basis. And that's actually the first one that they recommend. Frankincense is like the king of essential oils. And if you haven't heard me say it before, I say it right here. When in doubt, frank it out. When you're not sure what oil to use, you can grab frankincense. He is the king by far. But what he's really known for is um, for cellular vitality. So that your, your body is constantly repairing itself. We're made up of millions of cells and our cells continue to regenerate by the food we eat, by the water we drink, by the people that we're around and everything sheds itself. So your body continues to shed new layers. So when you're looking to work on that sort of area of pigmentation, that's what frankincense is really well known for. Um, another one would be lavender. Lavender is antihistamine. So it's really great if you have any redness in your skin. Sandalwood, um, again, another tree, which is also really good for the skin. And then black, black spruce as well. I haven't actually used that one yet. Have you used black spruce yet, Megan, for skin? Not for my skin. Like no. I, I found out you're, you're sensitive too, like me. I know. Um, keep it simple. Guess what I just read about yesterday. So you mentioned that rose is the highest vibration essential oil. I just went to like type that into the Google to get a graphic. And I read that blue spruce essential oil is a higher vibration than rose. And while we don't have blue spruce in doTERRA, we have black spruce now. And that came out last convention. And so I was like, ooh, I'm gonna start using black spruce every day. Just, it's in the spruce family. I like high vibration oil. So I'm just gonna start using it aromatically or I might, I might try it on my skin. So for me, you guys, if I'm gonna try it on my skin, as a new oil, I, I will dilute it and I'll just use that by itself so I can kind of see how it works for me. But I know Jennifer, who's my upline, she uses black spruce on her face and she likes it. Right. So of course you need to pay attention to what, you know, where your skin and how it kind of behaves with using the essential oils, but you can always gear specific ones because, you know, we start really simple at first with like frankincense and lavender, which are really great to use, but there's so many other oils that you can gear in to be a little more specific to what you're trying to treat. So of course, aging. Aging is evident by fine lines, wrinkles, and loose skin, but we all should be graced with age because not very many people get to. The goal is to age more gracefully using natural products to support this process. And that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I've been using the essential oils to support the healing of my skin. Of course, doing a whole bunch of other things with water and the food that I eat and the thoughts that I think all come into play. But recommended um, products is Immortal. We'll probably go into more depth with Immortal, but Immortal is... Um, exactly what it is. It's to reduce and refine aging. So this one has frankincense resin, Hawaiian sandalwood, lavender flower, myrrh resin, helichrysum flower, rose flower essential oil. So remember earlier I said when you're talking about skin, the most common oils for skin would be um, florals or trees. And these are all the best florals and trees put together and to create this blend. Um, I love I just ran out of it. I haven't used it for a while. And after I was like, oh crap, I have to get it this month. And it's actually the promo of the month, which we'll go over shortly. But Immortal is just really great to, it has everything already put into it. So you don't have to blend all the other oils as well. Another great one for anti-aging is Neroli. Mm. Megan mentioned that one earlier. That one is the blossom of the orange tree. Myrrh is really great. That's another tree as well. And then frankincense. And I just want to touch on the Immortal. Like Alina said, it's all the top oils for the skin. I, I have had a graphic yesterday that adds up if you were to buy all the oils to make your own Immortal with myrrh, lavender, frankincense, rose, sandalwood, helichrysum, it would come out to $565 for you to get all of those oils. They, when they bottle it in the rollers, these are undiluted oils. So it's pure oils of the mix. And how much does this cost? Like $70? Uh, let me see. Something like that. 
Alina will, Alina will look it up, but you get it so much cheaper already made and combined together. And yes, you can get it for free this month when you spend 200 points. So that's awesome. All right, this is my free one that I got. And I'll use this on my, on my face. What I do is I just do a little bit in my palm and then the carrier oil. And I'll use this from time to time. I found out the hard way wasn't that hard for me, but it was for my husband of, um, that this should be diluted because he's got a lot of wrinkles because he played 20 years of beach volleyball. And so when I was new to essential oils and I got this, I was like, oh, the anti-aging blend, come here. And so I was like rolling on his face and he was like, it feels like you're tracing my wrinkles. I'm like, I, I am. <laughs> and then it was like, it's starting to burn. And so like his face was sensitive too, because you know, pure oils can be strong. So I, I recommend diluting it to begin with. And then, you know, some people can use it straight up. Monica, who's our other advocate, she uses the Immortal straight up on her armpits for deodorant, nothing else. She swears by it. We'll go, we'll go more into Immortal later. Okay. So the essential skincare, the beauty from the inside out, I definitely have to thank my vitamins for that. Um, I take it up. A lot of different doTERRA supplements, but the lifelong vitality, the three pack, what you see here is the staple. It's like the foundation for my, my health. So the healing, protecting, and revitalizing skin begins from the inside out. And our skin is reflecting 80% of what's going on inside our bodies and 20% of what's going on outside. So you can see all of the foundational skin nutrients listed here are found in the Lifelong Vitality Pack. So if you are not familiar with this, LLV it's called, um, it's actually the number one selling product in doTERRA. We're essential oil company, but the vitamins sell the best because these vitamins are very unique because they have essential oils in them. So when you take your daily dose of vitamins, you're getting your essential oils internally or a dose of them. And they're also made of whole foods. So they're very bioavailable to the body. And in the Microplex BMZ, this is our, think of it as the multivitamin and your, your complete serving of greens has um, a bunch of different greens and veggies and these vitamins are, they're like powdered form. So you know the veggie caps that we, we put the essential oils into the veggie cap, it's kind of like palpable. The vitamins are like that except for the omegas. So you can see like the powder, like kind of swishing out. And so that breaks down in the body very easily and it's absorbed into our bloodstream easily. So we can turn that over uh, for energy. A lot of vitamins on the market are very compact and hard and dense, and oftentimes your body won't even break it down. So that's what I mean when I say bioavailable to the body. The omegas is the 369 fatty acids. This actually, the essential oils within this actually act as a protective barrier around the fish oil, so it does not go rancid or bad. And if you don't eat fish or meat, we have a vegan version made of flax as well. And then the alpha CRS, this is for our cellular vitality and it's like a high dose of antioxidants and um, just natural energy support for your cells. There's turmeric, there's grapeseed in there. Um, I mean, I, a bunch of essential oils. This can give you a lot of natural energy and if you're sensitive to that, you can take these, um, I advise with breakfast and lunch. So I take, I take these at my first two meals of the day. I'll take two from each bottle at meal one, two from each bottle at meal two. And then I'm taking the terrazine, the digestive enzymes every time I eat. And I'm taking the probiotics at nighttime. The, the probiotic comes with a prebiotic. Here we go. So some other um, supplements to support your skin health always thinking about the gut health. So the terrazyme, what I just mentioned, it supports the proper elimination chimneys. So this can help to calm angry and red skin. Think of eczema or um, psoriasis or any rashes. The PV assist, like I mentioned, this is a pre and a probiotic. And it's 
the prebiotic is a is the beneficial bacteria. Um, sorry, the the food that feeds the beneficial bacteria that's located in the in your gut, your microbiome, and the probiotic gives you more. Um, let's backtrack to this yarrow palm. Yarrow palm, like we mentioned to you guys, the oil, it came out as a supplement last year at, at convention. So two years ago, yarrow palm oil came out. And oh, another name for yarrow palm is Benjamin Button oil. So it's like reversing the aging process. Everyone loved it. Everyone loved it so much, including Emily Wright. She's one of the owners of doTERRA. She, the first year they developed Yarrow Palm, there was a before and after picture of her hands. So the before picture, she's, I don't know, what do you think she's, 50 or 60, Lena? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but you know, when you ate, when you grow older, you show signs of aging in your hands and your neck. So she showed the before picture. We're like, okay. And then the after pictures she, for two weeks, she put yarrow palm on one hand and not the other. And then the after picture, everybody was like, oh, oh my gosh, like what a difference. And we all went crazy on the yarrow palm. The next year they create, because everyone loved the yarrow palm, including herself, I think it was mainly um, Emily who wanted to keep going forward with the Yara Palm products, but she came out with the body renewal serum and then also the Yara Palm capsules. I should go and grab my, my bottle unless, unless I stole this slide from Alina. Alina might be, was supposed to maybe be doing this one. It would be nice to read all of the ingredients that are in the Yara Palm caps because um, there, it's, there's grape seed and vitamin C. Oh yeah, the, the ingredients also. are like really great. I can go grab it real quick or yeah. I can look it up actually. I have mine close by. Um, go ahead and talk about water and I'll grab the <laughs> well, water. <laughs> We're made up of it. <laughs> we are water. So right away, <laughs> that is like the most common thing you should always go to for anything. If you have a headache or if you're not feeling well or whatever the case is, right away it should be go to am I hydrated enough? And then hopefully a lot of you are paying attention to that, but if you're not, kind of say, hey, make sure you start to pay attention to how much water you're drinking throughout the day. Maybe get your own water bottle that you can carry so you can monitor what you're drinking. And then of course you can add in essential oils into the water. So um, you can, citruses are really great because they're mood boosting, they're uplifting, but they're also really great for the detoxification properties when you're drinking them. Right now I have you know, we always have our favorites, but I like to rotate it. So I'm using lime and tangerine together in my water. And that's been one of my favorites. So oh, I have to, Allison earlier on the phone asked me what the Skittles recipe was. And I never, I never got to answer it. So my husband created a recipe for his water, Skittles, because he thinks it tastes like Skittles. It's one drop of lemon, one drop lime, two drops, either wild orange or two drops tangerine. <laughs> He's like sh shouting Skittles from the living room. Uh, all right, I got my, my Yara Palm caps. I'm just gonna read. So zinc, vitamin C, pomegranate seed oil, grape seed extract, Yara, which is the phlegm, uh, sorry, the flower, the leaf, the stem, that's phlegm, all if you want to call it one word. <laughs> Flower leaf stem. <laughs> then there's frankincense resin, celery seed oil, which is great for um, gut health. Palmarosa. Oh, palmarosa was the free oil that we, we got one of the previous months this year. For If you guys don't know about the product of the month club, if you spend 125 PB before the 15th of the month, you get a free oil of the month club. And it seems like all year it's been oils that you can't purchase from the site. Mm -hmm. And these oils are familiar because you're like, oh, that's in this product and this oil's in that product. We've never seen it by itself. That's what's so great about the freebies. You can win like some specialty oils, but that's a flower. Turmeric, melon, and Melissa. So Melissa oil is 
I've always known about Melissa as a really powerful immune booster and mood booster. So it's great to, you know, for depression and um, anxiousness, but I didn't know about it for skin. And so this just has so many amazing ingredients. I've been taking the Yarrow Palm Caps, the PB Assist, and one Serenity, and one Adaptive at night. That's like my, I, I have like a supplement routine at night. Sometimes I take Digest Zen essential oil or whatever in a veggie cap, but that's how I kind of break up my supplements in the, the LLV and the Terrazyme throughout the morning and the day. And then I save this at, at night. Sorry if I stole that slide from you, Alina. No, that was yours. This one too. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we, doTERRA, we've been talking about how we do our, do our own skincare, but doTERRA has three different lines of essential skincare. So the first one is the Virage line. This is all natural ingredients, so it's, it's ideal for aging skin. I have this line, and it's, I was using it prior to having some skin reactions a few years ago, and I really liked it. I still use um, some of this here and there, but more, no, more, normally I do my, my DIY. And then the HD facial kit, this helps to um, support smooth, clear skin and it's good for acne prone skin. And then we have the essential skincare. So it's ideal for any, any type of skin, any age. This is great for your teenagers. You know, there's, there's like the, the eye, the eye cream. That's really nice. It comes in, in like a pump and one of those steel balls. So that's really good for like puffiness of the eyes. There's a hydrating cream, there's a toner, there's a scrub, there's a face wash. There's just, you can go and get these products individually or you can buy them in the bundle. And I believe you save, when, yeah, you definitely save when you buy them bundled. And the same thing with the HD and the Virage, you can do um, one at a time. So you can mix and match what you like. Alina, have you used um, some of these skincare and what, what do you like? Um, I do the HD clear kit. I started with that. Um, but now I just, um, I do, I do the HD clear still and then the Immortal, but I do the DIY as well. But just because my skin is super sensitive. But I have had a lot of my, um, my clients love the Virage. They were using that for their skin. They, they, they really recommended that one. Nice. So this is some ideas that you can add to your monthly wellness box. So the supplements that for me is that stays in my cart. And then I always swap out what I need for, you know, the month, whether it's laundry detergent or, you know, deodorant or whatever I may need or running out of oil or try a new oil. So you can write down your wish list. Maybe you learned about a few new um, facial oils. Allison wrote, wrote that Melissa is also good for cold sores. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, because it's a very strong antiviral. Mm. And then cold sores are from the herpes simplex, so it comes with the virus. Really, this is really good for it. <laughs> so when it comes to our skin, there's a lot of other ways, right? Again, we're talking about reducing this toxic burden of our bodies. We're exposed to about 88,000 chemicals. That's a lot. So it's knocking on every single door from shampoo conditioner to the Glade plugins to candles to when you get into your car with that nice car smell in it. You, know, you maybe walk into an office, but maybe not right now, <laughs> not walking into any places. But one is just, you know, we're reducing the toxic load. What can we use? What's a more natural art alternative so our body doesn't have this toxic burden anymore so it can start to heal and our immune systems can get stronger. Well, it's summertime and we want to keep those pesky mosquitoes away. So the best thing that I love using is Terra Shield. Um, Terra Shield comes in a 15 ml bottle or it will come in a, I think it's, is that 30? I think it's a 30 ml spray bottle. And it has a topical and aromatic blend that's safe and effective for um, 
for getting rid of bugs. And it's nice. It feels really soft on your skin. It doesn't, it's not greasy at all. It doesn't get on your clothes. I put it all over my ankles. I just rub it all over the place, but I love the way it smells. So the oils that it has inside is cedar wood, ylang ylang, catnip, get the kitty cats excited, lemon eucalyptus, litsia, nutka, arborate, and vanilla bean. So it has a really nice scent to it, but again, it's a really great alternative to using bug spray and it's, it smells good. You can diffuse it too. If you're outside, maybe at the patio, you can diffuse it around the area. It really works. All right. The after sun spray, I used this, um, also added the yarrow palm this weekend. I got a lot of sun when I was boating. So the sun exposure is great, but too much of it can cause irritation or just, you know, that burning pain. So next time you go into the sun, it's good to just have one of these already made up so you can just have it easy to use because a lot of times, you know, you'll get sun exposure where you weren't expecting it. And then if you already have it made up at home, like you could do it like a complete DIY day. You can write down all the things that you want to create at home, but it's a blend of aloe vera juice, the fractionated coconut oil, vitamin E oil. And I've made this before without vitamin E oil and it's worked um, just the same. So if you like don't find vitamin E oil, eight drops of lavender, eight drops of melaleuca and eight drops of peppermint. So that's like in a spray bottle about that size. And then if you make bigger ones, you can adjust from there. But that will work. It, it worked on me within a day, um, taking the burn away. All right, so here we go with the immortelle. So turn back time. Who doesn't want that <laughs> skin that appeals immortelle, that appears immortal, immortal? That's a good one. So it's uh, nourished, radiating youth. We already talked about which heavy hitter oils are in here. The a really interesting side effect of immortelle that I found while researching. My dad asked me what type of oils are good for eye health. And so I'm in a Facebook group that's been going on for a long time and a lot of experienced users. And I typed in eye health and I kept seeing so many testimonials of people's eyesight improving from using the Immortelle. I don't believe that they seeked out the Immortelle to improve their eyesight. I believe that they were using it in their skincare routine and a byproduct of that was that their eyesight was improving. I saw many, many people's testimonials. And someone even mentioned just immortelle on the bottoms of their feet help their eyesight because everything is connected. So as you put these oils, even just on the bottoms of your feet, it's pulling into your bloodstream and it's working where it needs to work to maintain homeostasis and healing in the body. I wanna invite Allison to please unmute and share with us what she learned about Immortelle today and tell, tell everybody about the course you're going through, the classes, and that it's available to them too. Hi, everybody. So this morning I was a part of a webinar where they were speaking specifically on Immortelle. So to piggyback off what um, Megan said, uh, you know, they went through all the different oils in the Immortelle and how fantastic they are, and they really were fantastic. But then they invited some of the people who were in the webinar to um, to give testimonials if they've ever used it before. So um, about five different people volunteered, really. That's all they had time for. And uh, one of them spoke about macular degeneration and how um, one of her friends had lost uh, the peripheral vision. And she was using the Immortelle, and within four months, she, was, she gained that back. So that was pretty amazing. I was floored to hear that. And then another one spoke of um, a loss of hearing. And they used the Immortelle on the bone behind the ear. And um, they gained a lot of their um, hearing back. And the guy who was hosting the webinar said that it was probably from the, I, I hope I said this correctly, the helichrysum, that that would help with the hearing. Then, I, then there was another lady who gave a testimonial. She said that she was bit by a dog uh, in the back of her calf, and it had removed the chunk of skin. And she was really consistent in using the Immortal, and she doesn't even have a scar. And I have another one here, um, how somebody used it for rosacea, 
because it was the redness on her face. And uh, <laughs> she was laughing. She said that she, it works so well for her that she actually has to put blush on now. <laughs> so that was a little bit funny. And, um, and yeah, those were the different, oh, she said it was great for the, um, also for dark spots. So, um, you know, I mean, all those things are fantastic. I'm personally, it's coming in my box. I can't wait till it comes. I cannot wait to put it all over and see what happens. But just hearing those testimonials, it was so exciting to hear people have such fantastic results with them. Awesome. Thanks yeah. for sharing. Yeah, it's my pleasure. And this week, you guys, is a doTERRA education week. And there's a call every day this week from... Allison, can you correct me about the time? Is it 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time or Mountain Time? So it's 9 a.m. Mountain Time, which is 11 out uh, well, Eastern Time. I'm thinking everybody's from New York, sorry. Eastern and it's just a 30 minute time. call, right? On That's a different product. Yeah, and it was, it just, they highlight different products and went into everything that was in it, educated us on it, uh, told us how to use it, and then the testimonials. It went by really fast, and it was really, um, it was really fantastic. I left there feeling empowered, like I knew what to do, and I just wanted to take out my oils and use them everywhere. Awesome. All right, so if you didn't, that's an email that you guys should get from doTERRA. It, uh, they offered us that education week, so check your email to make sure you got the invitation so you can tune in, and if you don't have that invitation, I just reach out to your um, wellness advocate and hopefully they can plug you into that. All right. Thanks for sharing, Allison. It's funny about the blush. Um, all right. So dry brushing is another great way to take care of your skin and dry brushing is amazing for stimulating the lymphatic system. So how to do it, get a dry brush. They, they sell them anywhere. Um, you're they even at CVS or Whole Foods. And you can put essential oils on the dry brush. So grapefruit is great for cellulite. And so a lot of people's dry brush was slim and sassy. You can really do whatever oil you want to stimulate the body. So you can choose a long brush with natural fibers and you just add a couple drops of the essential oils and you do long circular strokes always towards the heart. So if I'm starting at my arm, I'm brushing towards the heart. Um, here at my chest, I'm brushing down towards the breast, and then underneath I go up. And then the same thing with the legs, the thighs, and the hips. So it always wants to come in towards the heart. And you do this before you shower. And it doesn't have to be very hard. It's not like um, yes, it can be a little bit exfoliating, but it's not like you are doing a scrub in the shower if you wanted to like really exfoliate. So you can do this as get in a routine with it. Um, I love to dry brush, but I'm just not the greatest at being consistent with it. And Leilani is on the call and her and I um, tried to be accountability buddies for dry brushing. I dropped the ball on, on that, but you know what, now I did it last night. I did a, I did a detox bath with um, essential oils, Epsom salts and baking soda last night. And I dry brushed before I did my bath. I even did my scrub in the bath. And then after I did the Yarrow Palm body renewal serum all over. So that was like my Sunday self care. Um, avoid any broken skin or varicose veins. So if you have any um, breakouts or rashes or eczema, you want to just skip over that part of your body. And you can do this, um, you will clean the brush at least once a week using your On Guard foaming hand soap, or you can use the On Guard concentrated cleaner. The best oils for dry brushing um, to decrease water retention in the body, juniper berry, geranium, fennel, to tone uh, the skin, rosemary, grapefruit, cypress, or the slim and sassy. And for natural energy, black pepper, cedarwood, slim and sassy. And then oils for reducing stress, balance, lavender, peace, wild orange, patchouli. And essential oils for detox support. The Zendocrine blend is the detoxification blend, lemon and tea tree. If you are working on detoxing your body, that Zendocrine is something that you can add in 
on the daily. You can put that in your water. You can take it um, in veggie caps. Um, note at the bottom, we have a little uh, safety tip. Avoid sun exposure for uh, 12 to 24 hours after using citrus oils. So if you're going to be doing dry, uh, dry brushing with citrus or even pay attention to the blends that you're choosing may have citrus in it, just kind of time out your dry brushing for maybe the nighttime if you're choosing those oils. All right, Alina's next. So Yarrow Palm came out about like two years ago. And when it came out, we were all like super excited because it has yarrow in it and then pomegranate. Um, and it's just this really amazing blue color when it comes out onto your skin. Um, but I absolutely love this. And as one of, again, one of my daily routines, I find that it's very um, gentle to your skin. And I also do loving it, using it on the tops of my hands. But you can go back where you were. <laughs> so you can get Euro Palm um, a couple different ways. It comes in um, a large a dropper bottle. I think it's about 60 mLs. And, um, you know, using it on a daily basis, it's really great. I'm actually going to be making um, for Father's Day a beard balm. And I love using, adding yarrow palm to that with cedar wood and frankincense. But the yarrow palm is like, it's a nice little blue color, but it's also really great for the man's skin. But Yara Palm has its primary benefits. Um, you can provide powerful antioxidant support when taken internally because it's an antioxidant. Promotes cellular and immune system health when ingested. And you can get Yara Palm in another way, which you can take it internally with the Yara Palm itself and maybe make your own veggie capsules, but you don't really have to because the veggie capsules that they do make with their own yarrow palm formula, which Megan went over earlier, the ingredients are really great. Like every single one of them, they don't have anything extra added, but it is really good for your digestive system, internal body, your immune system, and then for your skin. So there you go. So when consumed may support healthy metabolic function, internal these claim, um, has claims for the body and mind, and then really great for soothing the skin. And I just noticed that they have a travel kit, which is super cute. So the travel kit, you can get all free. Um, so they have the other way that you can have your palm. They make it in a um, topical serum, which I love using it um, at night after my showers. So this travel kit will give you, um, I think, all three of them. There's a little bit smaller version, so you can take them traveling with you, which is the whole sales for 79, which is also really great to give as gifts. I like. That's a good deal because the yarrow palm, when you buy it by itself, it comes in double the size. And so I believe the yarrow palm by itself, the actual size of it, it's $95. And most people say, oh, that's an expensive oil. But you can think of that yarrow palm as you're getting two oils. So each of these bottles are 15 ml. So the actual yarrow palm comes in 30. 95 bucks and then the body serum is also whatever the price tag and then the capsules are whatever the price tag but it's so cool because you get the travel so you get to try all the products in just half sizes and i still have my travel kit from when i bought it in january well not the capsules anymore but i'm still it lasts it's great mm -hmm. So another cool way that you could add to your summer fun is do your own diy strawberry lime sugar scrub so if you'd like a little bit of a fruity smell, um, you can make most fruity skincare products on the market are full of usually artificial fragrance and chemicals. Again, we're trying to reduce that toxic load. So we can trick our, they tricks our nose into really what the real thing is. So why not use just make the real thing? So you have the strawberry lime sugar scrub. It smells like fresh strawberry jam that can be made at home in just a couple easy steps. And that's what's so neat about the DIY products because it literally takes seconds to make this and you have a really great product to use on yourself or you, again, you can make gifts for other people. So the ingredients, you have one cu um, cup freeze-dried strawberries, um, one cup of raw turbinate of sugar, um, three-quarter cup organic virgin coconut oil, three-quarter cup doTERRA fractionated coconut oil, and then three drops of lime oil. That looks amazing. I think I'm going to have to do that. I know it looks refreshing. When I'm going to answer Allison's question. Allison asked to find the dilution chart. You guys, we have our team's website, the teachmeoils.com, 
And on that site, there is a dilution chart of how to make roller bottles for different ages. Obviously do less for the little ones and then you can go up. Um, all right, so check this out. This is one of the leaders in doTERRA. She had some cancerous cells on her face that had to be removed. And look at that transformation from day one to day 11. That's like very impressive. And you see her now and you can't even tell she ever had a scar. This was a few years ago. So what she used for the full face application was Immortal followed by Yarrow Palm and focused on the scar and applied that morning and night. And then Magnolia and Rose Touch, the floral oils are, inc are incredible to, for skin health and regeneration. And then she did a custom blend of 15 drops Yarrow, 10 drops Helichrysum, which is good for blood flow and apparently ear lo um, hearing loss now that we know about that. Also, you guys, Helichrysum is good to to stop bleeding. So it's interesting that it promotes great blood flow, but it's also an oil that I've always learned when you have a, a cut that won't stop bleeding, put the helichrysum on it. I'd like to do some more research on that. Um, 10 drops frankincense, 10 drops sandalwood, 10 drops myrrh. Pop that off with fractionated coconut oil and she applied it probably every 30 minutes or so. It also helped with the throbbing. So that's some active, act, active use to, to work on that scar. She was exposing her body every 30 minutes to those oils. That's pretty impressive, but you see the healing that went down with that. And then there was also the internal use. She was also taking the turmeric oil, copaiba, frankincense, yarrow palm, pink pepper, two drops of each internally daily a full dose of lifelong vitality. DDR Prime, this is the cellular blend. DDR Prime comes in capsules or it comes in an oil. PB Assist and Terrazyme. So she supplements because she knows healing is happening not only topically, but also at a cellular internal level as well. So I, I share her story all the time when people ask me about what to do for scars. You know, this is in depth, but it worked. Look at that. I'm just so impressed. All right, Alina's going to talk about specials. So every month, uh, doTERRA usually has a promotion on specific products, but this month they have 15% off the beautiful blend the hydrating body mist. This one is really amazing. I got it as a gift um, in my uh, package when I went to the convention. And it's probably something that it would take me a while to order because it's just not what I'm you know, really looking for. But once I got it, I was like, this stuff is so amazing. It's really great and hydrating for your skin. Um, and my aunt, she adores it. So um, I bought it for her for, for her birthday. But this is what's on special right now. It's 15% off. It's really great. The beautiful scent is one of my favorites as well as citrus bloom. It's frankincense and lime and those go together so well. They smell good together. Oh, and here's the citrus bloom. So if you guys don't know about citrus bloom, it came in the BOGOs the other month and it smells so good. Everyone loves it. You can't purchase it. So they came out with the spa collection. Um, if you didn't get your monthly wellness box yet, I'm sorry to inform you that the body wash is sold out, but you can enjoy the hand soap, the lotion, and the deodorant. So it's while supplies last. So I would not, if you have your, your um, LRP order set up, you know, automatically to process towards the end of the month and you wanted to get some of these citrus bloom, I would go ahead and sign in and, and do your order now so you don't miss on on another citrus bloom. So this is just like a kind of a summer special. Hopefully they bring it for a collection. And then if you spend 200 PV this month of June, you get a free Immortal. So that's super exciting. Such a good oil. Um, I already got my monthly wellness box and I got all the things. Um, so yeah, anything else you wanna add, Lena? No, it's just nice to know that you know, that you can 
if you have specific needs that the oils can cater to them. And I hope that we answer a lot of your questions tonight. If you still have any other ones, you can chat in the box. We'd love to hear from you. Mm -hmm. And if there was, I know um, some people came on for specific skin issues. So if we, if you need more in depth support on something specific, please reach out to me and I would love to help you if you know who you are from talking to you. <laughs> um, all right. Well, any questions, last questions? Thank you all for showing up and I will upload this to the YouTube. Again, reach out if you, if you need to be um, added into the, the Facebook groups, if you need the replay link, or if you haven't done your wellness consult yet, reach out to your advocate and I hope to see you guys soon. Thank you. You're welcome. All right.